Menteri Rambak Kejela Ukan Rat Ki Sangma Ulong Baka Sarkar Keladan Kejeng Temu Belum Ya Barak Ki Seng Sain Perthai Barkumju Ya Ki Kinoon Mepher Perper Banyakan Halor Ke National Register of Citizens Kebelayat Kejeng Pentergam Ha Asam Menteri Rambak Ulong Ya Kani Hayeng Darbar Haba Jubab Ya Kamat Balai Syih Menta Buon Gidkot Kaliang Persia Balawan Rak UML Ka Maulai Ba Proses Ti Sok Me Ba Pen Pau Baka Sarkar Jela Kedai Ban Pentergam Ya Ki NRC Ha Kani Kejela Kembali ke hak asam. Kembali ke dawah, kisah yang berhalang berpapar-papar banyada dan kejengsyak telep ke beriau nabar yang kita raih senang. Ulai itu bernaduk balak penjari ke sarkar asam yang kena arsi. Ulai betak ia berok ke Deputi Komisna yang tak ke Superintendent of Police makin husiar berpengar dan pek ia kejengrung kejengmi ke beriau bernah syabar ke jelah. Umenteri rambak ke jelah ukan rat ke sama ulang bagi sarkar dan sesedang dan penterikam yang ke entry but exit point yang mendi patar Kepada ke stesen rel, Syawal Brand Pendap, Syakir Baik, Jaka. Haba juga mentar sengi halor ke jingan keren, halor ke jingkang lat, ya ke beriw, ban wan rak, dan ke National Register of Citizens. Bala wan rak, dua emel ke maulai, bak proses di Sokmi, mentar sengi, hayung dorbar. Ukan rak, ulong, bak sarkar, kan penterikam, ya kini, kendiat pak kendiat, namar ke jingheran pisah. Ulong balik ba ke Megala Resident and Safety Security Act, arah jakan riw. Ke sarkar, gelak temuru, ban penbahaya ka, dan ke bak penkup bo, di kibor sensar senong, Haga bantik laka miki beo kibawan rung syakani ke jelah. So this is a very important, uh, important issue I bring in front of the house. So on the day that uh, the National Register Censorship uh, was released in the state of Assam, that 40 lakh people excluded from the N NRC. So on the day, it happened that uh, after the release of NRC, that the whole message goes to the people of the country and also in the in state of North East. So I remember on the day, on the day that uh, the old TV, national TV, uh, television has all become a headline regarding with the uh, exclude of the 40 lakh people from Assam. So after this, uh, after this and uh, exclude, so there is a fierce crisis, the whole of North East, especially uh, our state of Mekhalia. Because our state of Mekhalia, we share a border with Assam. People of our state, the fear now, if not 40, maybe 10 lakh may come and also enter, also shelter in our state of Mekhalia, especially in the border area, sir. So, the next day, our NGOs, the first NGOs, went and checked the illegal immigration or illegal migration from uh, from a bonny site and others that is the Kasi student union personally along with the members they are concerned for our state why are they concerned sir because we understand that we are a small community the Kasi the Jantis and the Garos we are very small if that a big population a huge population coming from that uh, the state of Assam coming from our state that is a serious causes. What will be happen for the small quality like Kasi and Jaitis and the Garus? So the KSUs have done the job and especially they have, have went and visit infiltration branch at Bonnie Hat, sir. So regarding the infiltration branch of uh, in uh, Bonnie Hat, sometime so I thought that uh, this branch they didn't work properly. This government, previous government, or many years government, or now 46 years we have mobbing, 30 years we have uh, we have uh, uh, talking about this point of uh, infiltration branch at Bonihat. Sometime I thought, sir, so those officers or those people who are working on that branch, it seemed they, they are deaf. Why? Also they are blind. Because why? Every time and then, infiltration branch has failed. Infrastructural branch has not worked properly. Infrastructural branch, <coughs> they didn't work for the interest of our people, sir. So regarding with infrastructural branch, so the, some, sometimes we talk. If our own people sitting in a big in a big chair, in a hot chair, our people can do better, sir. We are trying our best that the government depute our own people at body hand. I didn't see that they are working for his own people. If our own people, we have trusted more. 
our own people that we have our full faith and confidence you can take your own people whom to trust sir regarding you with the with that branch case you on the day personally along with members of from central body even from the from the riboy personally they went also sometime they see that the way that the uh, infection band are conducting second we said if we are say causes that we have that the body areas that we have bodies are not fencing properly many of our those in illegal they may come from they may not come from from the uh, from the uh, from the from the open door they may come in from the from the back door when i'm talking about the, the back door they may come from the body areas sir after they have a fear psychosis now next to that the case you personally they met with honorable deputy chief minister handing a memorandum with a concern that it is high time that we should implement the national register citizenship in a state of meghalaya so second to that sir the north eastern student organization it is a umbrella of all the all student organization here in, in the north east they come with a resolution that high time that all the north eastern states sir should implement the nrc in addition to that sir i got see that a political party like your party udp have said also decide as it is high time that we have to what to do regarding with this is an important issue regarding with this sir so the fear now when those even people from from that uh, big people coming the fear we are losing our identity second to that sir we have fear the losing of job when i'm talking about losing of job in this days it is a very unfortunate many people from outside they are getting a job big small they getting a job our own people khasi people jangius people even the garus people we are not men getting a job there is a big concern sir it is high time the present government have to take care because we are here for own people am government we are mls all of us we are concerned for own people it is high time that we have to take care if our own people we cannot take care was a point to be mla if our own people cannot take care was a point to be minister this is a very important the fear say causes in this day sir many people coming from outside in the evening time when we going and walking especially in the site of the police bazaar we didn't see no more khasi no more jaintis and no more garus in the city if you looking into gari gari khana site we didn't see less of our people if we going into the dam and like the opening others even the police said very less the fear now it may be happening uh, in in rural areas will not more there will not much problem regarding with others but we have fear for own people small people like us sir so regarding with this matter sir i could see that now we should thanks the ngos why they looking into the government what the government are doing i remember last month two years when i was not um, an emily the then chief minister dr mokul sama he have all the a uh, meeting with the 13 ngos in our state coming meeting discussing what will be done how to check the inflow in our state yes they have took addition of construction of entry and exit point so regarding with entry and exit point now has become it will become a big issue if the present government do not take the matter seriously sir the thirteen ngos they have unanimously they have decided that on uh, 4th october 4th they will sit here dhana here in shillong and again they will go in tura because why we are concerned i'm very much happy that ngos now no not considering considering here in shillong even the whole state because here we are this is a mekhalia we have to concern about over the whole of mekhalia people now sir the 13 ngos again request government construction for entry and exit point yes the president uh, honorable uh, deputy chief minister he knows about the background he knows about the ground reality he knows about ground work he was a minister during time of uh, the then chief minister dr mukul sakama he knows and i'm sure at his level 
if the chief minister, along with the chief minister, they have to sit regarding how to how how we can how we can solve this matter, sir. Yes, we have been on a, on the May on the, this year. In the month of May, June, July, we have faced a problem of super lane. We have faced city city of Shillong is not easy. City of Shillong have been disturbing because why? Because of that of that particular issue. Now, sir, we will sir. As of now, we let again make it to be peaceful. When you're talking about the peaceful, when you're talking about the, the progress, now the development depends on the hand of the present government. Peace, progress, and prosperity. In addition to that, further to that, development will come. And I'm sure sir, that the present government will, will do the best. But we are very happy that we, will, from our side, we have to put it 100 percent. It doesn't mean that when the city is long or the whole of the state is boiling, that we also will be happy. We're clapping a hand. We are, we are responsible legislators. We are responsible uh, opposition. We are responsible leader, jointly. We are very happy. Because why? Our state will prosper. So, <clears throat> in addition, to, in addition to, to this matter, sir, I would like to make the request the, on, the, the present government the, do the homework seriously regarding with this in RC. It's a huge population still grappling around with the challenge of having the regis National Register of Citizens. It's the best opportune moment now for the government to complete this whole exercise. Because to ensure that the nation has National Population Register, which should be the guiding data for the purpose of ultimately finalizing the National Register of Citizens. An appropriate act has been already passed by the parliament. And in the preceding years, the government had already attempted to accomplish the mandate of the act. Now, there has been some amount of apprehension, some amount of suspicion as to how this whole exercise of national population register, which will ultimately be the data available required to be utilized for the whole purpose of final draft of the National Register of Citizens. And there has been a number of engagements with the civil society organizations. And there has been apprehensions expressed. Those apprehensions are already available with the government. As to what were the reservations, what, what were the apprehensions, and appropriately they can be addressed, and we should further move now. It's time. And uh, in addition to that, keeping in mind the ramification of uh, the fallout of the NRC uh, pertaining to the state of Assam, which is a culmination of the Assam Accord, there's a need to see that we don't, we as a state is not at the receiving end from what has happened in Assam. Last year, there were some inputs on the runoff for election that there is some uh, abnormal increase in the even enrollment of new electorates in some parts of the state. And therefore, there will be a number of authorities which will have to be activated to see whether the fallout due to the implementation of Assam Accord resulting into the latest NRC in Assam has had some pilferage effect, adverse effect in the demography of the state. That has to be also looked at. We, we should actually activate all available authorities, concerned authorities, tasked with the responsibilities based on the mandate given to each one of these authorities through the mandate of law. Let the law be the guiding principle. The law is exhaustive. How the National Population Register has to be completed and how the National Register of Citizens have to be completed. In the case of Assam, it's a different case because it's an exercise which is in sync with the Assam Accord. But for the rest of the states in the rest of the country, the law is very clear. And in addition to that, I think it is important for the state the government to ensure that we do not leave our people in the state of confusion and remain with uh, a stand way which provides a scope for lack of clarity in the mind of the people. Pertaining to 
how we want to protect the interests of our people. This August House has witnessed a number of deliberations and discussions in the past years. We have collectively decided to also come up with a legislative measure, which is a culmination of a long drawn discussion, deliberation, engagement with all the stakeholders in the preceding years. And the culmination is that the House has mandated us with a new law, the Meghalaya Resident Safety and Security Act 2016. And we all are aware as to how all these civil society organizations and the pressure groups want the government to actually ensure that the mandate of this act is put in place. They're implemented, the entry and exit point. And also the relevant sections 8, 9, 10, which is designed to protect the interests of our indigenous people. With the whole powers given to local authorities and the police during the course of the discussion. The short discussion was specifically on implementation of the NRC in Meghalaya. But of course, sir, it's a very sensitive issue and an issue that is concerning every citizen of our state. And obviously, sir, all elected representatives feel about this particular issue. And in the course of the discussion, some members discussed about the fallout of the NRC of Assam, which is the second issue that came up. And a lot of concerns were raised about that particular issue also. And third, sir, which is really the crux of this whole discussion, and really the uh, basis of bringing all these points is really to look at the illegal immigration as a whole in our state and more importantly at the end of the day to look at how to protect the indigenous people of our state. I think these were the base, basic points that were covered by different members who spoke today and I would like to take this opportunity to first of all thank each and every one of you, the four members who participated for bringing out this very important point, sir. Sir, at the very outset, I would just like to read out a bit from the government note, which talks about the background, sir, of the NRC. And as was mentioned by the Honorable Leader of Opposition, so the NRC, basically the basis of the NRC is the NPR, which is the National Population Register. So the Union Government of India had decided to create a National Population Register, NPR, of all the usual citizen residents in the country as a first step towards creation of a National Register of Indian Citizens. And so the NPR is envisaged to be a comprehensive electronic database of all usual citizens in the country containing 15 fields of demographic data and the biometrics, namely photograph, 10 fingerprints, IRAS prints, etc. And the legal basis of the NPR is the Citizenship Act 1955 and the Citizenship Rules 2003. Sir, having said that, what happened in Assam, as was mentioned by many members, is something that is part of a bigger solution that was being worked out in Assam. It was part of the Assam Accord. And one of the points mentioned there was the NRC exercise. And it was based on the Supreme Court that this exercise had to be completed within a stipulated time. And that is, that is the reason why this particular exercise had to be done in a time-bound manner in Assam. So a lot of members raised issues about the fallout of the NRC in Assam. So let me inform the House that on the day this particular, or I should say the date when this was going to be released, on the previous day I had spoken to the DG and to all the concerned deputy commissioners and the superintendents of police of all the concerned districts 
which would be directly affected. Of course, the whole state is affected, but the border states, border districts are more vulnerable. And hence, I had spoken to each one of them personally and directly and asked them to be very vigilant when this exercise is being done. Of course, there were a lot of NGOs who also had uh, shown concern. Accordingly, we requested the NGOs that the state has taken steps and uh, they should be rest assured that the administration as well as the police will do their duty to protect our citizens. And accordingly, the concerned citizens, civil society, they showed confidence in the government and the administration and allowed the administration to do its job. Since this point was brought out, sir, I don't have the exact numbers with me. But a number of Nakabandi, this check gates as we call it, they were set up in a number of locations. In fact, I had specifically instructed all the superintendents of police and the district administration to send me pictures of the checkings that were taking place. So this was not to create any kind of inconvenience to anybody, sir. Because I know at that point, a lot of people from Assam, genuine citizens, also felt the pressure. In fact, I had a call from government of Assam. The Honorable Chief Minister himself called me and asked me that why this checking is taking place. So therefore, the impact of the checking even reached to the highest level. Even the Honorable Home Minister, Mr. Rajnath Singh, was inquiring about these particular things, aspects. And so therefore, I would like to mention that at that point, the administration, as well as the police of the district, they really did their duty with utmost sincerity and detailed checking took place and number of records, including pictures on my WhatsApp group, which I've created of all the SPs. So I have a WhatsApp group where I speak directly to the SPs. I have a WhatsApp group where I speak directly to the DCs. And these things were communicated through social media to me, as well as official reports also on an official email were sent for the next three, four, five days by all the DCs and the SPs. So therefore, sir, uh, this, all this was not discussed in the press. But since the honorable members were concerned about this, I'm uh, sharing all the actions that were taken at that point, simply to instill a confidence in each member and every citizen of our state that we as a government are very much aware and we are concerned about these issues and we are sincerely and with full commitment taking up all these issues. So therefore, sir, during that period, a number of check gates, number of uh, Nakabandi checks were done, many locations, whether it's from West Karo Hills, Southwest Karo Hills, as well as Jente Hills, East Jente Hills, Reboy District, West Khasi Hills, all these areas were being closely monitored and watched, sir. We even had a video conferencing and discussion with some of the DCs. And in those discussions, we mentioned to them the points and concerns which were raised by many of the members. That what if there is a sudden increase in the population? What if there is a sudden increase in the number of voters in our, uh, in our state? And so I would like to inform the House, even this point was mentioned to the De Deputy Commissioners. To keep a close watch on the new registrations that are taking place in terms of the electoral, electoral roll. So during that point, in fact, I had called a meeting of the government, of the MDA partners, officials were present, and in fact, before we had the meeting of the MDA, we had the meeting of the officials with all the uh, uh, concerned departments that were linked, including the chief secretary was there in that meeting, the DG was there in that meeting, the other uh, senior officials concerned and all the SPs who could make it immediately for the meeting. So we had that meeting and in that meeting also all these points were discussed and uh, I must say sir that the police department acted very swiftly and they did their task uh, in a very very uh, efficient manner. So the, therefore sir all these points that were being mentioned uh, even as we speak sir our district administration is keeping a very close watch on different different developments that are taking place and uh, let me give an assurance to all the people of our state that this particular issue is important not only to all the members who mentioned here 
But as a government, sir, this is one of the top priorities for us to ensure that we protect our citizens and our indigenous people. So therefore, sir, whatever has to be done from our side and administration, we are doing, we did it during that time. And sir, with the efforts of the officials, especially the police and the district administration, I must make a very specific note of that, uh, that during that point in time, we were really able to uh, withhold any kind of situation that could have arisen because of that particular uh, NRC Act or NRC uh, list that came out from the Assam government. Sir, I would also like to mention that, um, which our Honorable Leader of Opposition had mentioned, that yes, there is an act that came out in 2016, the Meghalaya Resident Safety and Security Act. And uh, there are good and very good provisions that are there which we can use to ensure that our people are protected. And very recently, our Honorable Deputy Chief Minister, in fact, not just once, but in a number of occasions has met different civil societies, different NGOs, different leaders from different various fields, and discussed about this particular issue of NRC also, as well as looking at how the Meghalaya Resident Safety Security Act may be, as was mentioned earlier, maybe could be strengthened further. And I am happy to inform the House that I have officially asked the political department to look into this and find out ways on how we could strengthen the provisions in this Meghalaya Resident Safety Security Act 2016 so that more security and more uh, power can be given to our, maybe the headmans or the nokmas and to ensure that the indigenous people are protected. So therefore, sir, we are definitely on the task and on the job. And uh, as was mentioned by the Honorable Leader of Opposition, this act is there. And we are definitely looking into all the provisions and looking at making it even better and even stronger, the exercise that was done two years back, sir. So coming to the NRC exercise, which was the primary concern and the main point was brought in by the Honourable Member, uh, Mr. P.T. Sokme from Maulai. Uh, sir, as was mentioned by him and by a lot of other members, Sir, NRC exercise, though, as mentioned by Opposition Leader, the Government of India has, in fact, mandated. And this exercise of having the National Population Register which will be the base of the National Register of Indian Citizens. So the exercise has been mandated and different levels the exercises are going on. In fact, uh, in this particular scheme, sir, there's a different methodology that has been prescribed. I don't think that it would be necessary for me to read all the methodology and the schemes. It's, it's a very, very exhaustive document, sir. Um, but we have all the data, data information with us out here. But what um, is important sir, to note is that uh, so this exercise is not something that can be done overnight. Sir. And uh, it is an exercise that requires huge manpower. At the same time, it requires uh, a lot of uh, strengthening of our departments at different levels, which I'm not saying is not necessary. It is necessary, sir. And uh, we need to move forward. But it's something that may not be possible for us to do uh, as exercise like, say, tomorrow or day after. And uh, there are a lot of issues that we have pending within our system, sir. And I think, uh, without really going into details, but I think uh, one of the more points ever mentioned by the Honorable Member for Umroy are also very valid and is very valid, sir that uh, we have a situation where we do have our own people who are really not really educated and uh, who are from a lot of backward areas and may not, they may be genuine citizens but may not actually have the documents that are required. And what could be the fallout of that? I think uh, as responsible leaders looking at, yes, the importance of ensuring that we protect our indigenous people we need to ensure that we look at all the plus, the minus, the back, the front, the top, the bottom. I think it's important to discuss and really ensure that whether when we go ahead with something like this, it is in by ensuring that we take all the stakeholders uh, together. 
Sir, as I said, I'm happy to inform the House that as an MDA government, we had called all the MDA partners, including the party officials, and we discussed. And after that, of course, we had a series of by-elections and then the, the session came. We could not move ahead on this, but uh, we intended to call an all-party meeting to discuss this particular issue. We intended to call different stakeholders to discuss this issue. So I personally feel and I would like to inform the House so that we are going to engage and discuss with different, different stakeholders before we you know, embark or start moving into the actual exercise of an NRC. And as I said, sir, apart from the diff different complications that could be involved in that, the point uh, um, is that it also requires large financial resources, which of course is something that uh, should not be a reason not to do it, but it is a matter of concern for the state also, sir. So therefore, sir, that is also one point I would like to mention. Uh, sir, uh, one of the members had mentioned about the uh, discussion about the entry and exit points, sir. And uh, let me show the House, sir, that this is an issue that was started earlier and a uh, lot of work has been done in this regards. And now our government has decided, sir, to move ahead with these points. And in fact, uh, even as recently as last week, we had a meeting uh, with the Chief Secretary as well as uh, the other Chief Senior Officials to discuss about the status of this particular project and the land acquisition of these uh, locations are in very advanced stage. But of course, sir, it is not possible for the government to start all the locations in one shot, sir. 